I have acquired a full list put together by the Oxford English Dictionary of US right. versus UK terms. Okay. So we now have oh, wow. a full okay. definitive list. Words such as biscuit are considered to be US, whereas the US would call them cookies or crackers. Um, yeah, that's stupid. I do feel that's silly. I feel like there is a difference between a biscuit and a cookie. Because there is a difference between biscuits and cookies. And definitely between biscuits and cookies and crackers. Crackers are completely oh, yeah. different. You know? Um, what about hey, Isaac. car park versus parking lot? Well, it's not a lot. I feel I it's, a lot, it's, it's a lot, lot of land, from. isn't it? It's like a, it's a lot. I can see yeah, that, but, but I do think... A park for cars. I do think, yeah, I there. do think that car park is a much more descriptive term, term for what it is. Parking lot, like yeah. parking what? A lot. Am I parking <laughs> lots? Am yeah. I parking? You know, lottery Little? tickets. Am I? Is you know, you could get the wrong idea. You could get the wrong idea. Yeah, I think I think we I think we went on that one. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, definitely. Um, there is bum bag, which they call a fanny pack. What do you... Uh... No, that just sounds stupid. <laughs> Both of them. Which one? Which bum bag sounds... is much better. I, I vote bum bag. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if I can go... I don't know which I way mean, I go on that one. That one... No, they both sound I mean, ridiculous. call it a fanny pack. It's not a pack, Is first of all. It's a bag. It's a pack of what? A pack of fannies? Are you kidding me? I mean, me? the fanny is used as a term differently here in the uk as it is in the u.s right <laughs> yeah and so you could say you that could understand why at least bum is <laughs> universally is. you know uh. and it's wrapped around your bum okay so. what about the word fanny in general then do we take that one or do the u.s take that one well what does it mean in the u.s it's a name it's just it means for uh, i believe it's just another word for bum for bum yeah it's like a fanny pack it goes just call it on. Let me. Uh, I mean, that's look, that's, at the, that's look at Fanny Urban Dictionary definition. I'm good. <laughs> I'm sure um, you won't get anything yeah. biased. North America, a person's buttocks is the word. Is what it means. Interesting. Interesting. So, I mean, do you know? Do we? Do we? Do we give up the word Fanny, or do we? For, do well, we whoever impose? says I'm going to slap your Fanny. I mean, it's nobody I mean, here because no we don't. That. We don't use that terminology. But I'm going to kick you, know, you up the Fanny over the that pond. Just sounds awful. <laughs> it sounds aggressive to us because we've got a different meaning for the word. Sounds terrible. Why would but you do I mean, that? But who in the have you ever heard an American say that Fanny? Only on television. I've only heard that. Yeah, I think I've only heard it used in the phrase "fanny pack," like as it's been referring yeah, so to that one. Bum is better. I mean, okay. Bum, bum is better than Fanny Isaac. You should know this, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. And I feel like, scrolling down this list, there's a lot of them, by the way. I feel like garbage can over dustbin, we can give them. Yeah, we'll give them that. We'll give you garbage not, can. You know, dust. You're not just throwing <laughs> dust in there, I mean, you? if you break it down into enough like small particles, is it not just dust? I mean, technically it is. So let's take it. Let's just take all of them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you are is, forgetting no, 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 that no, no, the language no, no. is, Nick, in, is Nick, English is, and we're is, in England. This is where negotiations break down, where we just start taking words for no reason. But we just <laughs> demand that people use our language. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're just going to take it because it's, why not? <laughs> okay. Because it's better. Oh, it works. Okay, that's beautiful. Um, Nick, come on, come on down. Come on down. I've, I've set up come this auto crafting box. What's going on down here? It doesn't look great, so I've hidden it down here. This little grey box. Oh God, this if you open it up, awful. you put it right <laughs> in the middle of the pirate ship. Open it up, ship. Nick. Open it up. Just right click on oh, it. Oh, yeah. So there's loads of squares. And it's actually got four pages of squares. And now each one of those oh, squares yeah. can be used for a crafting recipe. Now, I've chosen speed a bit over crafting capacity. Because right. inside of this, you put crafting CPUs as well as crafting storage, right? Um, each okay. crafting storage block gives you, I guess, a page, because I put four in. And then each crafting CPU makes it faster. So I've put more CPUs in than storage. So it shouldn't be too slow. And so now we just need, let me go to at rebar. We need a, we each need patterns, I think. So pattern, uh, yeah. So we need to make, I think, a pattern grid and then just start making. Do you see the patterns from refined storage? Uh, see those? Pattern. pattern. It's like second line. Yeah, I see fourth them, one I in. Oh, no. Yeah, I see him. It's yeah, just redstone, glass, and quartz witch iron. So we can start teaching ourselves about to make stuff, Nick. We can just start teaching it away. Yeah. Um, yeah. So enjoy that. Uh, I'm going to make some discs. <laughs> Nick. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Piece. <laughs> Piece of trash. Fine. I'll use your. I'll use my terminal as well, because I'm not, not going to mess up. Yeah, what are, you, what, are you, what are you getting all promoted Nick. this for? God damn it. <laughs> 64K. Right, this might take a while. 
Um, just putting it out there. Punctuation. Advanced, improved, and basic. Make. Punctuation. Well, got, we're not. We're not done here yet. Uh, we used the oh, word. Right, okay. <laughs> we, this is going to take all day. Nick. We've got. We've got a lot of words to go all through. Right, okay. All right. All right. Okay. We okay, use the. It, we use the it. term full stop. The American yep. term is period. So it's like a, a period. No, full stop is much better than period because you think. I forgot to. I forgot. Like, let's say someone said I forgot my period or I missed my period. <laughs> I mean, I was always okay. out of context. I mean, nobody, seriously, nobody that ever can be taken says, awfully. No, no. <laughs> you're doing your essay. You had to nobody, nobody and your ever, teacher comes back has, to you and says, missed, on, you missed your on, period. No, 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 no. Has anybody ever come up to you and said, I forgot my period? Has anybody ever said that? Has well, no, because like, I don't Let's live stop. with Americans. Has anybody ever said, I forgot my full stop? Has that ever well, happened? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just in, just in conversation, you're out with a friend, and then suddenly they're just like, "Oh damn it, I forgot my full stop." <laughs> no, no one's Why ever not? said that in the history yeah, of maybe. the world. Could no. happen. You never know. <laughs> no. Full no, 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 wins. no, no, Full stop wins. Okay, it's a full stop. It's a stop. <laughs> you stop your sentence. Oh. Period is stupid. Okay, Nick. Hair. We call it a fringe. They call it bangs. They call it what? Bangs. You never heard the term bangs? Oh, yeah, maybe. That's stupid. <laughs> That's, <laughs> Nick, That's Nick, just Nick, dumb. Nick, 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 We have to be objective here. We can't just call oh, their no. words stupid, okay? No, but it is. We have, it's we're coming the truth. To, we're coming to a compromise, all right? We're not, <laughs> we're not just... Oh, God damn Well, let, 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 let's Nick, say someone comes a, up to you and says, I nobody haven't is. had bangs in a while. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's just you there's get the a wrong reason message. that nobody has taken uh, this job upon themselves before us, Nick. And it's, it's exactly this reason. All right, yeah. We'll, we'll if leave. someone comes up to you and said, "Oh, I've not had a bang in a while," I mean, come, you just think, <laughs> "Oh <laughs> God!" <laughs> no one's ever said that though. It's bangs no, with an have. S. It's with an S. It's a hypothetical <laughs> situation, uh, and it needs uh, to be addressed. God damn it, Nick. Okay, I've got another. Okay, I have to get rid of this. Fucking egg. <sighs> oh well. Christ. Bangs is bad. You're not a fan of bangs? Okay. No, not a fan. All right. Lorry or truck? Uh well the thing is is that truck has meant multiple meanings, like monster truck or pickup truck. So right. to define a, the the massive one, I, I think lorry is quite good. Okay. That is the English yeah, would word. You agree again? with that. You seem somewhat biased. I mean, yeah, I I can give you that. Um Math or maths, plural. You don't do a single u- singular piece of math, so it's maths. Are we going? Are we going to change it to sciences? Yeah, I'm doing sure. some sciences. But science, <laughs> plural, is science. Right, but they're they're but asserting maths, that math plural math is plural math. Plural is maths. That's what. Yeah, because we've been raised with that assertion. No, they're, they're, don't, they're, don't care. They're, they're proposing, the US are proposing that math is both singular and plural. Much like sheep, which you all have known about if you watched our other video. Oh, <laughs> we yeah. talked about plural That's true, words. true, actually. <laughs> Although, will this be up? Uh, probably be up. This will come out after, after the other video, yeah. So, what do you reckon, oh, Nick? Yeah. So, you're, you're sticking the, with the that math is not a plural word. No, it is. What it is, is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to say about all of it. <laughs> I feel like we're not going to get anywhere with this thing. I don't think we're going to make any real change in the world. No, we... it's just going to all be exactly the same. Oh, what a guy. Can we, can we continue, though? I yeah, would like yeah, yeah, to, of course. Uh, one second. I'm, just, I'm just trying to spell up some glass, but you filled this thing with freaking improved circuits. I need to move. Oh, okay, let's see here. Number plate or license plate? Well... It is a plate with numbers on it, but it also but it has doesn't letters have on. your driver's license on it, does no, it? No, but it doesn't just have numbers on, Nick. True, but and they so did I, used to. I feel, I think, maybe. I feel like possibly. we have to give them license plate. I don't think either works. We should call it number and New letters one? plate. <laughs> How about just car plate? <laughs> yeah, car plate. Car identification plate. Kip. CIP. Car ID. What's it's your like CIP? ID, but you have to crash into your <laughs> device to uh, unlock it. Okay. Q or line? It is a, it is oh, a Q people. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this goes. I show the difference and then you just say, 
Well, it is the British version. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. I mean, is it a line? What is a line? Let's it's think a line what of a line people, is. A line, it? it's a line is a, like a thing that you draw. A line of people can be curved. It can be a line, line can be drawn. A line can be. What curved. if it's a circle of people, but they're queuing for something? Uh, like a, a circle is still a line. Like a line no, can be it's curved. Circle. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. You've got a line of people, but you could just have a people lined up. That doesn't right. tell you that they're waiting for something like like queuing. I mean, okay. I, I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like we can take Q. Let's take Q. Right. Okay. Uh, solicitor or lawyer? I like lawyer. Lawyer does uh, sound better. I'll give I will. them that. <laughs> We're going to give them that one. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Because Sweet. it is law, so Sweets. lawyer makes sense. Sweets or candy? Uh, as much ooh. as I dislike the term candy, I feel like sweet and sweet is very vague. Yeah, you I know, guess it refers uh, to like it refers to the. You could give him that. Yeah, but so you, wait, when do they say candy? You could just think candy floss. Right. Do you but get sweet, what I mean? But sweets, but like, sweets covers everything. Which yes. sweet is not sweet? No, but sweets like a um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a descriptive term, isn't it? Something can be sweet in the UK without being mm. a sweet. Yeah, true. you know what I'm saying. Like a sweet refers to like I don't know skittles. Should we give you know, them candy? Are sweet. Then? I feel like we kind of have to. You know, as much as I don't like it, I feel like we kind of have to. Also, a little mm. further down here, tea towel is what we call a dish towel. I feel like dish towel is a better term. Yeah, probably. Tea towel yeah, makes no him, sense. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see here. So, <laughs> there's some really weird ones. They're like tick versus check mark. We use the word it's tick. It's a tick. As a che- <laughs> well, a check tick, mark can be an tick, X. A tick's it also an animal be, though, Nick. Be... Yeah, but check mark. <laughs> oh, Check his marks. It could be that. <laughs> could be confused. <laughs> and whoever thinks of the animal tick I think I don't when you know. say tick. If I said to you, Nick, have you got a tick? You might be like, oh, no, I haven't because I don't have any ticks on me. But I do have a tick <laughs> on my work. That's the kind of argument you would have made two minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, you're right. But check mark could be a cross and a cross is not a no, tick. That's a, that's a cross mark. No, it's not cross mark. <laughs> Who ever said? Who's ever said the word cross mark before? <laughs> no one. Right. Okay. Moving on. What about what about the letter Z? Are we calling it Z or are we giving them Z? Uh, Z sounds like C. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick we start on disk space. What have you been working on? I can't use the system. Don't worry. It. Don't worry. I'm I'm on my way to 16k. We In call fact, it. I could do one now. We call it a zebra crossing. They call it a crosswalk. Well, a zebra cross- crossing is a type of crossing. Yes, it's not specifically a. You know a. Um, there's multiple types of crossing, like a zebra crossing. Yeah, we've got like pelican crossings. Yeah, we've got toucan crossings. Yeah. we've got all kinds of crossings. But are we going to call zebra crossings crosswalks, or are we going to call them zebra crossings? Are we going to stick with our oddly specific animal references when it comes to crossings yeah i would like to personally <laughs> I mean, um, yeah i would i would like to keep that one if you wouldn't mind if you wouldn't mind oh. i would appreciate it uh, um, hold on let me give you a couple more uh let me give you some storage okay hold i would on. very much like uh, that nick very much so quartz um, <coughs> oh, God. underground or subway now, Subway could be confused Sub- with the sandwich with the restaurant, store. Subway. But I feel I like mean, Subway is a better term than underground. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, but I feel is like... is it a way that is sub? Sure it is. Okay, yeah, yeah let's so give them that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we've come to that one. Trolley or shopping cart? As much as I like the term trolley, I feel I like... Mean, it is a shopping cart, It's a cart, shopping cart, it? yeah. I think we're going to have to... But then that. they... But Nick, then they could confuse it with Amazon. They have a shopping cart as well. I don't know. Yeah, true. <laughs> no, but they don't feel... have a shopping trolley, so <laughs> yeah, therefore we win. True. Uh, <laughs> timber or lumber? 
Well, both of them are just dub. <laughs> just call it wood or something. <laughs> just call it wood. All right, we've got we've got space. We, you okay, can use the system. Thank gosh. Okay, here we go. We dump some stuff in here. I mean, it's a bit a bit slow, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, let's have a look here. Um, we call it white coffee, and they call it coffee with cream. Apparently, well, white coffee is easier to say. Coffee I mean, it's white. I think I think there's just a general difference in what people class as coffee, because a lot of people don't drink coffee with milk, right, or cream of any kind. Like, is coffee? Does coffee just refer to? If you said in a store, I would like a coffee, would you expect it to come black? Uh, well, I always say latte. But right, but if you walked into somewhere, if I walked into somewhere and I said I would like a coffee, I would expect it to come with milk. Yeah, but, but mm, yeah, that's you, not... you would say black coffee, wouldn't you? Yeah, here in the UK at least. Tell you what, though, Northern deviating England. for a second. I was at Starbucks yesterday <laughs> and they have this white chocolate latte and it was oh, yeah. amazing. It was so good. <laughs> this but episode is proudly you. sponsored by Starbucks. By I have uh, a yeah. white chocolate latte today for only three ninety nine. Go on. This is, it's not sponsored, by the way. What were you going to say? But, it was uh, very do nice. Do go on. Oh, that was, all, that was all you wanted to say? Just say it yeah. was good? <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, like, I think maybe in other parts of the world, if you asked for a coffee and didn't specify that you wanted it white or with milk or cream, that you would just get a black coffee. Right. You know? You feel me, fam? Yeah. So. I do. What, what do you reckon there? Do you reckon that we should begin specifying that we want it white or... The rest of the world should start specifying but they want it black. You can have white coffee without cream. It's it's like milk, isn't it? You put milk in it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, actually. What would you... Why don't you give us this one? What, I don't what know. Do you I mean, I've given you a few. I feel like... I don't know. Because for me, I have always grown up with a coffee having milk in it. Whenever I make a coffee, it's coffee, it's always water, milk. Unless milk. I've run out of milk. Yeah. It's always got milk in it. But... I feel like if we're compromising, we have to give them that one. I feel like we have to say, all right, if we if coffee is just the, the, the pure substance with water, right? And if you want it with milk, you have to specify white coffee. Does that seem fair? Yeah. Because you're adding something to it. Um, is there anything you want autocrafting, by the way, Nick? Because I've, uh, I've taught the system how um, to make oh, wooden I'd sticks. I'd love to autocraft uh, the 1K storage parts, please. Uh, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> that would be grand. If you could also, um, the only thing you'd need to um, autocraft on top of that is glass. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And okay. uh, the quartz enriched iron, which would be amazing. Okay. I can, I can teach you the quartz, in, the quartz enriched iron, and I yeah, can that teach would be great. The whole thing. Uh, glass is doable, but it's going to be, uh, it's like a different is it process. It needs to be smelted. Yeah, right. Okay, it's still that, doable. That's fine. We I'm can go automate machines, then. but for now, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. If you're looking at the system now, Nick, you should be able to request those if you've got the items for it, by the way. Uh, that, okay. Uh, can you see it? In the, uh, just directly, in, it's like... Yeah, um, if you just open up yeah, the system. Yeah, um, like you see it? Are you not? I mean, you're, you're, not quite, you're quite a weird so Nick. I'm not quite sure what you're after over I'm there. Just smack you some sads. <laughs> so, okay. quartz enriched iron. Uh, display. Oh. Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, craft me uh, 256. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 1K ones? Uh, no, I'm crafting 256 quartz uh, and rich quartz iron. And rich right, iron. I see. How fast is that? Very. It's it's done. Good. Yeah, it should be fast. Really good. That good. was impressive. Uh, Thank you, Nick. craft Thank me you. 128 <laughs> 1K parts. So, it's missing glass. Right, yes. Yeah. So right, we, should, so we, should, we should start, by the way, just smell. teaching it. All kinds of stuff, though, so we can more quickly do things in general. Um, there's another one here that I, I I question if it exists at all. So there's this takeaway, which is apparently a UK reference, and then takeout, mm. which is apparently a US version. I mean, of both the same of them thing. work, don't they? Yeah, I, I mean, say takeout we, quite a lot, as opposed to takeaway. Yeah, maybe I like do I, too. I, I will say, do you want? It's on what I say. Like, I'll say, do you want a takeout? You know, if we want like order pizza, I won't say, do you want a takeaway? You know? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, so. both of them work. They do um, both we'll work. have dual definitions here, I reckon. Starter or appetizer? Uh, now, I've been to places that call see, them appetizers. And I've been, I've to, been places to places that call them call starters. starters. Yeah. But Starter makes sense because it's the beginning of a for meal. For me, it feels like But they also are wetting your appetite. I feel, starters. Like, I feel like it's another... I don't know. I feel like it's another differentiation of 
class, kind of. If you're going to a fancier restaurant, I feel like they can call it them appetizers. It would be the appetizer, yeah. yeah. Whereas I mean, a... Can, let's give it that. A different establishment is just called a starter, you know? So we're going yeah. to separate it again, depending on the uh, the how many Michelin stars the restaurant has. Is that what we're, uh, <laughs> we're going with? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been to plenty of nice restaurants that call it appetizers without having to have a Michelin star. <laughs> I mean, don't forget <laughs> that at Michelin star restaurants, the main course is probably the size of an appetizer at the normal, uh, have normal you, um, restaurant. Have you ever been to a, a restaurant with a Michelin star? No, I've actually not. No, neither have I, actually. No. <laughs> uh, I'm yet to try it. So, so okay, so you think, you think that you don't have to have a Michelin star in order to call it an appetizer? Is that what you're no, saying? No, you don't. Okay. That's, right. just, uh, that's just awful. Okay. That's just truly awful. Okay. Um, okay. Have okay. I got these the right way around? Some of these? There's a lot, by so the way. Some of them I'm missing out because they just... They're a bit... <laughs> they're a bit silly. Um, but some of these are... Aubergine or eggplant? Uh, aubergine, because it's got nothing to do with eggs. It's got nothing to do with eggs? I mean, it's kind of like an elongated, curved... Weird. No, egg. It, no, <laughs> with, it's not. Purple it's just not. With a green it bit. just doesn't work. <laughs> but aubergine's also. Is that just a made up word? I'm guessing that we're just giving to that plant then. So we're giving it Yeah, aubergine. it's like uh, flooding. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, where's the word cucumber come from? <laughs> I don't know, Nick. I don't know. There you go. Or corn. Yeah, they're just yeah. words. They're, they're just, just words. words. <laughs> Maybe we should start changing some of those as well. Um, yeah. Candy floss Let's call or a cucumber a uh, cotton candy bean plant. <laughs> what do you reckon? Pardon? Candy floss or cotton candy? Uh, well, you don't floss your teeth with it, so I'll give cotton candy. We're gonna give it to it them. Is, it does feel like cotton. Okay. Okay. Um, and it does the opposite of flossing your teeth. Like it um, doesn't make I your think teeth better. Finally, here, Nick, to wrap us up. Mm -hmm. Chips or French fries? Oh, God. Now, I feel like there is somewhat of a compromise to be made here in that I would... I think I think chips and french fries can be quite different. I think chips are usually quite thick. Yeah, chips can be nice and thick, but yeah. french fries are always thin. They're always very thin, yeah. But do we enforce all fried chopped potato as chips, or do we have do, you, do we have both? Do we have chips and french fries? Well, we have crisps to do with the... Uh, oh, yeah, we also have to, we have we have to crisps, deal with crisps and, and chips. Americans call chips crisps. Yeah. What do we do with that? So it's just really confusing. I feel like that we allow both chips and french fries to be used to describe thick and thin chips. Yeah. And we use crisps solely as a way to describe... Yeah. Like walkers Fully agree or layers. with that. Yeah. Here that in the UK, should be what... Yeah. We call layers... Chips, you would call them Lay's chips, I guess, or whatever brand of chips you get. We would call them crisps, and so I think yeah. I feel like we could take we could take crisps as uh, they are crispy, you know, they they crunch. Or do we call them crunches? Crunches. <laughs> well, I mean, lots of things crunch. You eat lots of things. Bone, lots of things crunches. are crisp, though. You don't you know? call them bones. You can you can you can burn something to a crisp. You can have chips that are crispy. Yeah, true. So I mean, this is it's Nick. But I mean, crisps are the crispiest kind. Do you of think fried potato? I mean, okay. I feel like we may have gotten a bit over our heads here, Nick, when it comes to yeah. trying to... I think what you've done is you've royally <laughs> screwed us over. <laughs> <laughs> trying to definitively... The amount of hate that there's going to be. <laughs> I don't know. I feel it's... like we've given equal amounts to both sides using logic and reason. You know, we've... we've... <laughs> We have given... I mean, there is logic and reason <laughs> in YouTube comments you can't be used in the same in the same sentence, Isaac. I mean, come uh, on now. Flipping you eight. should know this. Well, let us know in the comment section what we've done wrong. Let us know yeah, your reasoning. Yeah, let us know what we've done wrong. Send, put multiple comments in. Let us know uh, what you think of each word. I want every single comment. You have to leave the word you think should be used for each one of those. And you have to tell us yeah. why it has to be why? reasoned. You know, you why should we, case. why should we call it a fanny pack over a bum bag? Let us know. I think both are silly names, but we'll, we'll let us know yeah. in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like, leave a comment down below, ding the little bell and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Ding the bell, let you know straight away when a new video has gone out, you can be the first people here, which is always great. Thank you again for watching. Next channel links and social media will be in the description and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.